going to use a scalpel number 15 for scoring and cross hatching. So you hold the scalpel like a pencil. You know, you don't want to hold it that far because this is not a good grip. You want to hold it pretty, just like a pencil, so you get a good, nice grip there, like you can see. And you're going to use not the tip, but the curvature part there. So we're going to make a, uh, like this, like tic tac cross hatch pattern of cuts, parallel and perpendicular. And then I'm going to pull them apart and show you um, if they are deep enough. And you can see this yeah so we're doing pretty good here those cuts were made and it's still we don't see the viable tissue there okay and now I'm going to make I hope my camera's uh, Visibility is nice. It's not very clear, but this is the best I could do. But uh, but it is. You can see that it's not. It's not. It's not uh, the viable tissue. It's not, hasn't been. Uh, it hasn't been. Uh, uh, we, we don't see the any viable tissue there. And I'm going to spread it out for you. I'm pulling the apart, and you can see the just light blue will just show that it's still the. It's not. It's not very deep, and that's how it should be. Um, okay, so that's and like you see, I'm not using the tip here, holding it like a pencil. I'm not using the tip. I might be now cutting a bit too deep. Let's see if we made a bad one there. It's the, the skin is too tired, it's dried out, so it's a bit difficult to pull it out. It's lost its uh, connectivity there. Uh, okay, so this is what it was. Uh, I think because of I was not able to pull it out. I'm, I'm not being very dexterous enough with these gloves, and we can't pull it out. But. Um, I think slightly might be a little bit. If you can see it clearly, it seems a bit. Uh, over here I think I have made it a little bit too deep because you can see a slight white which means it's uh, not uh, it's, it was deeper and you can see the viable tissue okay so that was the uh, uh, the cross hatching uh, using scalpel 15